welcome to Trail Grazers, where we do great food for the trail. And I think we have a winner ready for you today. Um, this afternoon, it has been thundering like crazy. So we're probably going to be having a downpour in just a little bit. We have continued to be plagued by challenging weather and challenging things going on in our family that have kept us at home. We've not been out in blue, but we keep hoping that there's going to be a breakthrough and that we can try out some of these good food ideas that we have been uh, doing here at home. And so today we're going to be doing trail tacos. And I'm really excited to share this one with you because I think it is a lot of fun. And actually it is a takeoff on what is called um, I think they call them walking tacos, where um, it actually is usually at someone's house or a school event or something, where they have those little snack bag sizes of fritos that are about one fourth the size of these. And, um, or they can have other, um, besides fritos, other types of chips besides fritos. And so a person will just grab one of these um, bags of chips and they'll smash it and then open it, and while the bag is open, then they will spoon in from a whole array of toppings. The taco meat, the cheese, the lettuce, the tomatoes, olives, sour cream, salsa, whatever a person might want to spread out. And I just thought that that was such a fun idea. The downside for me is that these bags lately have become so fragile that they just tear so easily. And so I would be afraid if we tried to do this one on the trail, it might cause a great big mess. But I'm looking for things that are not rehydrating some freeze dried foods, something that we can just pull out of the cooler, put together and eat. And it's, uh, it's nutritious as well as being very quick and easy. And the good news is that Jim, came home the other day with a couple of brand new maps. And these are off highway vehicles maps. And then uh, this one is for the county in which we live. And this one is more just for our local area right here. And it is full of trails, things that we have not yet explored, even though we have been riding around our property here for the past 13 years since we have lived here. And so we're really looking forward to, while we can stay close to home, just have something that can go together very quickly that is nutritious and quite easy. We always carry an ice chest with us, and so um, that's what this meal would be. So it's a takeoff on the walking tacos, but instead of using the bag to put it in, and this is too big of a bag anyway, but Jim couldn't find any of the smaller snack bags today without buying a case of 25 packets, which we don't need. We're going to use our salad containers. I really quite like these. It has an inner tray with um, kind of a large place here and then two smaller places here and a little container where you can put something and then a large container. These are specially made for salads. So this is what I'm thinking. So in the bottom of these, and I'm going to put these together right now, and then Jim and I are going to have them actually for a late lunch um, off camera. And so in the bottom of these salad containers, I would put lettuce. Maybe I can do it on this side. That will probably be better so you can see it better. And then this was one big tomato. So this is kind of going to be more like a taco salad. And it has to be something that we don't have to heat up. So even though I just got the meat hot, uh, when you do a taco salad, it's okay to have the meat to where it is not hot. And then I would sprinkle on some cheese. Jim loves cheese. Is that enough for you, honey? Yeah, this one. And then we will put the inner tray in place. And on the in the larger compartment, we would put. I love fritos, 
So that's what I'm going with. And I'm not going to squash them. Having them whole is fine with me. Jim will eat Fritos, but he just likes the, these are chili cheese. And so that's how he said to make his uh, trail tacos. And then I have out in our freezer, we do a 60 days of meals using our freezer, refrigerator, and pantry over on Rose Red. And so I have a freezer full of little packets of things like this, which is taco meat. And so I'm going to put half of the taco meat, yeah, it's hot. Half of the taco meat in one side. and then half over here. And I was going to put sour cream in the other half, but I'm thinking I'm gonna want meat in both sides. Don't you think, Jim? Sounds good to me. Because that's how much meat I have. And a little bit spilled out right here. If I wanted to, I could make a little corner right here and put a dollop of the whipped cream. Would you, uh, of the cream, what is this? Sour cream. Sour cream. Honey, would you like some sour cream? Sure. Sounds good to me. So I'm just going to put a little dollop right in that corner. And I could put it in a portion cup if I wanted to, but I think that that will be just fine. That would hold it on a trail ride. Then I'll do the same for mine. And then in these little containers, this is just about the right amount of salsa. Shake it up. Well, that one squirted out a little bit. And here you have trail tacos. So with the chips and the meat on the top, and oh my hands are slippery now. And then the salad down on the bottom, and then you just add the top part to the bottom part and stir it around with your spork, which is right there. And then the lids go on. And there you have it, 
So that was quick and easy, especially if you have things like um, the meat packets in your freezer all ready to go, so you don't have to worry about cooking the meat and um, then the other things in your refrigerator. So if we wanted to leave at the spur of the moment, if the sun came out and it was uh, warm enough for us to be out there, we could have these ready to go in about five minutes. So that's the kind of things that we are looking for when we just take off and go nearby to where we don't have to have a lot of fuss to get a meal ready. So that's our quick idea for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope some of you are getting out there on the trail that the weather is good enough for you to start having some outdoor adventures. And we look forward to the t few days, I hope, is all it's going to be, when we can be out there too and start showing you some of the surrounding area as we um, explore these new trails that Jim brought the, map home, the maps home for. So thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate you so very much and just wish you the very, very best. And we will see you soon out there on the trail.